Hey dolls, it's Angela Montañez and I wanted to come to you guys today and make a video about how to start the new year strong. I've done this. <laughs> I've done this many times and it's kind of in my blood to when I'm really passionate about something to just really start now. Most people wait until the end of the new year. Most people wait until day one and they say day one. And um, you know, by like day 15, day 30, they lose steam. A million people join gyms. It just doesn't work. It just does not work. So I thought I'd come and give you guys some tips about how to start the new year strong. Um, tips that have worked for me that have kept me committed to my journey in health as well as um, my journey to myself and in life and have kept me on track so let's get started tip number one start now and start small step by step if you give yourself too many big goals at one time you're going to be overwhelmed so start small and whatever you decide to start with it should be achievable so you can check it off your list and you should be able to make steps out of it for instance right for instance if you are looking many people are looking to lose weight or to get fit in the new year right so instead of saying i'm going to lose 50 pounds i'm going to lose 100 pounds instead of saying this is what i'm going to do for the first month or the first year you know what do you feel is achievable research is helpful um, go on youtube find people that have lost a significant amount of weight if that's what you're looking for or find people that have achieved better health and just follow their progress, follow their journey, go to their earlier videos and see what they did on a daily basis. That's what I mean when I say it should break down into simple steps. What are they doing every single day? Because your habit and the things that lead to the outcome that you want is happening every single day. So check what they're doing. What are their days like? What are they eating like? And then see how you can break that down into steps that are achievable for you and see how you can make it so that it merges with your your palate or it merges with the way that you want to live life day by day because it's the day by day that will really get you to the end goal whatever your end goal is number two become what you wish to be so that's an actionable thing that's an actionable thing find something that you can duplicate and either replicate or make your own over and over and over so become what you wish to be so when I decided that I wanted to be a healthier person a healthier Annie <laughs> I said who is out there doing what it is that I want who has achieved what it is that I really want and so I was researching so many youtubers I got into their videos I watched them every single day all day <clears throat> if they were juicing I went out and I bought a juicer I followed some of their recipes when it comes to juicing and I just made these people my best friends you know whether they knew it or not they were my best friends and I became what I was seeing so for instance if I saw a youtuber and they were traveling and they were juicing and they were eating vegetables all the time and they looked like they were having the time of their life and they were healthy and they would that's what I wanted to be so I watched them and I became in my mind I became part of that circle and I kind of duplicated that I became I became what I wanted to see by mimicking in a sense not completely copying because 
I blended it to my style, but I saw what they were doing and I said, I'm going to do something similar and I'm going to enjoy the process of learning about this whole process. And that's what I did. And I, I, I enjoyed it. I really did. It was phenomenal to this day. I mean, I don't go out and buy <laughs> hundreds of dollars worth of veggies anymore. It's, it can be expensive when you're buying that much. I have more of a balanced lifestyle at this point, but it was exciting. It was new. I was experimenting. I was learning about plants. I can tell you what plant or what vegetable or what fruit I can tell you when it comes to, you know, going to the produce aisle. All I got to do is look at the tip of a leaf. I know what vegetable I'm looking at that I, I, I'm never confused. People say, oh, what is this? Oh, that's this. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's this. Well, these are dandelions. Well, these are collards. Well, these are the, because I know the plants. And so learning it and understanding that it was so good for my body, it was exciting. And then on top of that, I was having so much more energy, you know? So like I said, I would definitely say to start the new year strong, become what you wish to be. Who, who are these people hanging out with? What are these people eating? Where are these people going? Like just become what you wish to be and then kind of bring your own flair to it. Number three, turn thought to action. So all of these things are actionable. We could sit, we can make vision boards so that we have a, a visual of what we want. Um, my thing is when I make vision boards, which I rarely do, because once I have something in my mind, I don't have a whole bunch of things. I usually focus on one thing at a time. Otherwise I get overwhelmed. So I'll focus on one thing. I made a vision board a couple years ago and it had this really beautiful Ancline watch. Yes, yeah, an Ancline watch and it was green and gold. And um, a few days later, I was just, <laughs> I, I cut it out from a magazine. I didn't even know if I could still find it. It was an old magazine. I started Googling, boom, found the watch. Checked it off of my vision board. That, that's what I'm about. I'm a very, I see it, I want it, I'm doing it. And really the only way to make these things happen is to turn action, turn thought and desire into action. Um, so turn it into action. Write it down as if you are writing a grocery list. So for instance today, like I said, if your goal is Today I'm going to eat better. I always tell people start with one meal. Start with one meal. If you mess up on that first meal, start at the very next meal. Most people, they mess up in the beginning, they mess up at a meal and then they say, I'm done, I'll start again tomorrow. Why would you start tomorrow? Why don't you just start at the very next meal? Why don't you start at the very next minute? Don't throw, what's that saying? Don't throw the bath water away with the baby or something like that. Don't get rid of it all at once. If you mess up, forgive yourself, talk great to yourself and start again. If you mess up in the morning, pick it up in the afternoon. If you mess up in the afternoon, pick it up again in the evening. You can always pick it up again. You can always start again. You know, so if you feel like you just kind of failed a little bit or you you're feeling that way or you feel like man you know day one i just completely messed up or day two or day 15. don't throw everything away you did all of that work just pick it up again in the very next minute if you need a couple hours if you need a day to just get yourself together great do that be gentle with yourself and then pick it up again the very next day it's all about committing and recommitting to yourself and that's how you stay strong now and throughout the new year and then make it past, make it past that February hump. Because usually by the end of February, all the diehards that say, well, I'm gonna be in the gym or this is how I'm gonna change my life. By the time February, March comes, people are just waiting for the summer, you know? And it's like people just toss their commitments out the window. So turn thought to action and if you mess up, pick it up again. Don't just throw everything away. <clears throat> so 
write it down as if you're writing a grocery list check off each item on your list as you complete it that way you feel accomplished and make sure that it's achievable so every big desire that we have has small achievable steps that can bring us to the bigger picture find those achievable steps and as you check off those ach small achievable steps you'll be closer and closer to that big picture that you want give yourself an ash actionable task and at the end of the night and just before each new week reevaluate your list so every single night think about okay how did i do today if you feel like i didn't do so great today that's okay be gentle with yourself this is going to be a whole new lifestyle and when you're dealing with a whole new lifestyle and a whole new way of thinking you it takes time to implement it takes time for it to really seep into your core for you for it to be a habit and for you to for it to be second nature so that you can just do it effortlessly so reevaluate on a weekly basis reevaluate on a nightly basis don't obsess be gentle with yourself like i said i'll say it again in order to for this to be longevity and for you to really commit and have this be something that's going to be long term you have to be nice to yourself you have to be gentle to yourself you have to say nice things to yourself you have to encourage yourself when nobody else will be there to encourage you or everyone else will be like you didn't give up yet when are you going to do this when well, you say you're going to do this that's why when i decided to do whatever it is that i needed to do for myself i didn't tell anybody i just did it every single day i just did it did i have fights yes did i have arguments yes was it very stressful yes because you tell people and they will try to bring you down you know so just focus on yourself focus on yourself bring it back to yourself and turn each thought into action last one give it all your own style and flair make sure it is in alignment with your desires and your life goals i think overall it should really come from your heart it should be something that is within you some people have different goals some people say well my goal this year is to get a Birkin that's their goal that's what they'll save up for you know other people say my goal this year is to travel to India or to go to Dubai or whatever is your goal whatever is your goal I definitely would say commit to it commit to it find the smaller steps that will lead you to the bigger achievable steps and have fun with it but remember your goal every single day remember it every single day and the steps that you have to take every single day and and become what it is that you imagine yourself and you envision yourself as become that become it even when you're not in that environment so if your goal is to live in dubai and to be like a real housewife of dubai or something like that envision yourself there and if you live in the states and you live you know somewhere that is definitely not dubai um i definitely would say just become what it is that you want to be and then do your best to surround yourself with others that are, have that same mindset so that you're constantly moving with those that are going along the same path. So stay committed, <clears throat> take actionable steps, make sure that the smaller goals are hit so that they can help to bring you to that bigger goal. If you find that you are not doing well you know for the morning time let's say this for weight loss and you're like oh i failed i messed up on this and this and that pick it up again on the next meal pick it up again in the next hour journal whatever you have to do to bring your mind back to i'm still in this game i'm still doing this 
I'm still going to start the new year out strong and I'm going to continue within the new year strong so that by the time May, June comes, people think, wow, wow, this person really, really just continued. They were really committed. Yes because it's an everyday thing. If you have to watch YouTubers and other people that are living the lives that you wanna live, do that. What are they eating? What are they drinking? What are they doing? What are they, how are they acting? What is it that they want? Bring your own flair to it. Bring your own authentic self within it, you know? Don't just be a complete copycat. So those are the tips of how to start out the new year strong. I've done this many, many times. <laughs> I've done this one main time where I was so obsessed and you really have to be obsessed with your goal and with how it is that you want your life to change in order for this to be a commitment because you're committed to things that you, you know, obviously become obsessed with and in a good way, not in like a crazy way, but in a good way, you become obsessed with it. You love it. You want your best self to shine and to come out. So those are the tips on how to start the new year strong and um, in my commitment to starting the new year out strong and continuing within the year i'm going to be doing videos like this i'm really working toward twice a week so um i'll see you guys in the next video and happy new year dolls bye